and we're good. Take it away, uh, uh, Carol. Carol will be presenting. Oh, she she can tell you. Take it away. I am going to be presenting Bastoncello, um, Sword Against Dagger, and Sword and Sheath. Um, so I'm going to start with Bastoncello. Um, the first two Bastoncello plays, Fiore doesn't specify how the, how to get into the plays or in what context these plays might emerge. Um, I think that that means that there are many different ways in which these plays could emerge. Um, so I'm going to use Jackie to demonstrate. So with the first play, if Jackie throws a punch, I'm going to defend it. I'm going to get my stick around her neck and then throw her to the ground. Um, now the second play, oh, with the second play, he specifies that this is something that he would do likely if his opponent is in armor. Um, so with the second play, I'm coming on the outside, I'm coming into her neck, and getting my stick behind her leg, and, ooh, and it's a throw down that way. <laughs> I'm taking over. Can I interrupt for a moment, please? Yes. This is a basket shot. Okay. There you go. <laughs> but I like the stick. <laughs> okay. I didn't there you go. <laughs> Up into a finestra. So up into finestra, 
and then as I unsheath, I hit her in the head, and then I have my sword. And those are all the plays. Is that it? Okay, uh, so my question is going to be the same as with, with the others. Um, so you, we see the details, uh, such as it is, of the plays. How do you think um, these, this relates to the rest of the manuscript? So, as, as I mentioned with the Bastoncello, he specifically says that many of the same dagger plays can play out. In many cases, the Bastoncello is a very similar tool to the dagger, except that it doesn't have a sharp edge. Um, but otherwise, it would still hurt to get hit by it, um, and it can still be used for all sort of the like the wedging um, and twerking that we see with the dagger. Um, with sword against dagger, the thing that really stood out to me when I was working on the plays was um, the, the differences in measure. So, like usually when we're when we're making dagger defenses, we're really like pushing in. Uh, when you have a dagger and you're receiving the sword, you have to make that extra measure because you're dealing with a much longer weapon. Um, similarly, with the sword and sheath, um, the play, like the play from here, plays out very similarly to our regular dagger defense, except that the tool that I'm using is much longer. So I'm catching, I can catch the arm sooner, which is great because she's also starting from a very close position. Thank you. What is a bastoncello? Oh. <laughs> um, so, sorry, I believe that a bastoncello was a tool used by um, sort of the medieval police. So a baton that they could use for street enforcement. Personally, I think that yes, it's different from a stick, but I think many of the same plays can emerge from just having any tool at your disposal, mm -hmm. whatever you have nearby. Okay. So let me. Um, Sort of. Bastoncello is a is a dis, is a rank uh, indicator, so it's a it's oftentimes was a was a was a symbol of office, so often political office, right or leadership. So you be of a certain rank to have a bastoncello, and if you look at uh, even today some of the modern milita militaries, basically generals and above would carry a bastoncello. So it's a, it's a symbol of high leadership. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, if you think about the, the admonishments that Fiore gives us early as to who should be taught this stuff, mm -hmm. right, then the context of the bastoncello makes sense because mm -hmm. only those of high ar aristocratic rank would, would have such a device of, of uh, rank. Mm -hmm. So... That's where the bastoncello comes. And still, it as he says, generals, it's a marshal's baton in modern terms. Yeah. Okay. It is a, it's something that only a, a captain or a commander is. Okay. And, sorry, Mark. No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, my question is, what's your target with the sheath? You say you're going to poke her in the head. Yeah. Uh, are you just going to jam it out of her face? That's the idea? Or yeah. slap her with it? Or? No, like it in her face. As yeah. I Pull the sheath into her face. Yes. What part of the face? <laughs> I mean, ideally the eyes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the text. Though. That's me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, done? Good? All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Carol. Thank you.